Switch to Love and Guitar, today we're going to have a go at Love Hurts by the classic rock band Nazareth. Uh, just a very quick little dedication to my mum actually, this is one of her favourite songs so I thought I'd do this one for you, uh, just because obviously we miss you loads and I uh, know how hard you are working and we can't wait to see you. So it's a quick little dedication, so let's get back to the track. Okay, so this is a really cool little number. Now to play along with the record it's slightly sharp so it does take a little bit of fiddling to get your guitar to kind of bang on in tune but we're going to use quite a few effects today so it does kind of cover up that fact anyway. Now in Logic the kind of sound that I've kind of used to create this is basically a deluxe blues kind of sound that is on just in Logic. I've added a kind of rotor vibe uh, which is kind of making the, the sound go between the speakers quite quickly and I've also put a bit of reverb on and I put a little tiny bit of chorus as well. So just basically chorus oh, and, and a bit of tremolo too. So that again kind of gives you that kind of back and forward sound between the speakers with the sound and it should then take it to this kind of idea. It's got a slight bit of crunch as well from the deluxe blues uh, kind of sound as well. So that's kind of the sound settings I'm using. Okay, now it does give it that kind of very 70s kind of guitar sound. Okay, we'll break this down. So the actual intro is just a G bar chord, you know, standard typical G bar chord. But the picking I'm going to use is I'm going to play fret three, first finger, third fingers on fret five, pinky uh, fret five as well, fourth string, second finger on the third string, uh, fret four, and my first fingers barring the uh, third fret on the second and the first, which is just standard E shape bar chord but it's obviously the G chord, so E-shape refers to the cage system. Okay, so we're going to pick the 6th, 4th, 3rd, 4th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th strings. Okay, then it goes to an F power chord, F to C power chord. Okay, fret 1, string 6, fret 3, string 5. That just cycles round. Okay, so then into the verse. You can pick this however you want to do it. It could be an acoustic guitar string too. So kind of using that kind of picking idea that string six, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, up, 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 up. It's kind of how I'm doing that, but again, you can do anything you want to. Essentially, it goes G, round G, open E minor, fret two, string five, fret two string four, okay, to a C, to a D chord. So it's that kind of classic pop sequence, chord one, okay, chord six, chord four, and then D's chord five. So it's the standard kind of four chord classic. So G, to E minor, C, D, second time round, add the C, on that D chord though. So playing the D chord, I'm just gonna bring my second finger over to fret three string five just to give that C chord. Into a G. Okay, then it's a B minor chord. So fret two string five, uh, fret four, third finger fret four, third string, second finger fret three string two, and my first finger's barring the top string, so that's a B minor chord. Okay, to an E minor. Then it's fret two again, B minor. Then to a C to a D, add the C again as we did before, to G. And it's F, C, G. Okay, so guitar solo, I've just switched to the, uh, the SG uh, and just reverb on the amp actually now, so rather than all the effects. Okay, solo starts off on eight on the second string. Okay, then we're gonna do a full bend on 15 on the first string, down to 15 on the first string. Vibrato. Then, which is then bend 17, it's kind of a bend and a half, back to 15 on the first, bend 17 again, and 17. Okay, then to the end of the first phrase, just 12 on the second, back to 8 on the second, and we start again. So, 8, bend 15, first string, okay, bend and a half, 17. 15, then 17 again, 17, and then up to 22nd fret, first string, let that kind of just vib kind of vibrato there, just till it dies away. Hope you enjoyed that one, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.